What's going on guys? This is Frank Katzis coming to you from Dart House. Now this video and post is going to be a bit of a doozy because guess what? We all got it wrong. I don't even know where to begin with this. The prodigal kicks ball technique. Commonly referred to as the prodigal shot is actually not called that? The correct name for the technique that we've been calling prodigal kicks ball is actually Yaksha Searches C. For references, I will be using the book Soft Weapons, Nine Section Whip and Rope Dart by Li Ke Quinn and Li Xing Dong. Both prodigal kicks ball and Yaksha Searches C have the same inner thigh saddle entrance. And I think that's where the confusion initially began for these two differing techniques. However, the difference between Prodigal Kicks Ball and Yaksha Searches C is not in the entrance, which again is the, the saddle part of your thigh, but it is in the exit shot. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Let's back up. We're going to pretend it's two days ago. I never made this post. This video doesn't exist. There are no problems. And you're outside diligently practicing what you think is called the Prodigal Kicks Ball Shot. To practice it diligently, you are wrapping your lead thigh from the inside saddle to the outside and then using your anchor foot to shoot the dart out. Or you could be wrapping your anchor thigh and then using your lead foot to shoot the dart out. No matter which thigh you decide to wrap, the take home message is that one side of the body is wrapping the rope dart while the other side of the body is shooting the rope dart. However, this is wrong. The prodigal kicks ball technique as it's described in the book, soft weapons, nine section whip and rope dart has the rope dartist wrapping their lead thigh and also shooting the dart with their lead thigh. So here we have the prodigal kicks ball technique as described in the book Soft Weapons. Clearly the roped artist is being depicted as wrapping their lead thigh. Love that closed loop. We also see the dartist is clearly shooting the dart with their lead foot. That's not what we've been doing. But the, the depictions in the book has the roped artist wrapping their lead thigh and also shooting with their lead foot. According to the book, the entrance and exit of Prodigal Kicks Ball are on the same side. Now, take Yaksha Searches C. We can see in these illustrations that the roped artist is clearly wrapping their lead thigh. Nice closed loop, buddy. But we could also see that they're clearly shooting the dart with their anchor foot or their anchor side. This is not a Western mistake. There are plenty of videos in China of Chinese speaking people doing this rope dart technique and they're all calling it prodigal kicks ball. This is a mistake that clearly spans the gamut of the rope dart world. Whether martial arts, flow, fire, dance, Kinda of doesn't matter, we're all wrong here. This all begs the question, what do we do? This is, calling this technique prodigal kicks ball is basically been written in indelible ink across the rope dart world. I, I, how do you even begin to now tell everybody that we're all wrong? According to one source. Now, I'm going with this source because while Everybody could just make a video about anything and say whatever they want. Usually people that write books kind of know what they're talking about. Is it possible that the authors got this wrong and we're all right? I don't know. But the only written reference we have to this technique is actually in this book. So you tell me. All right, guys, that's the video. I am unsure what to do about this. And if anybody has any comments on it, please leave it below. I am all for honoring traditional names and you know a name like prodigal kicks bull is a traditional name the dilemma is that we got it mixed up with the wrong technique if you search prodigal kicks ball you will get this technique 
If you search Yaksha Searches C, you get nothing. I don't know, guys. Love you all. Peace. Start life. I'm going to be thinking about this one.